Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Finance and asks, is he considering selling or partially selling any state-owned enterprises in the future? If so, which ones? The Honourable Bill English. Yes. Mr Speaker, no, the Government's position is clear. We've made a commitment to New Zealanders there will, be not, there will not be asset sales in this term of Parliament. If the position is going to change, we will campaign on that in the next election. In the meantime, we are doing a much more important job, which is fixing the damage done by 10 years of mismanagement of 200 billion of state assets. And I can tell you, it is a very big job. When I get to my feet, I expect all members of the House to respond immediately. The question uh, did not contain any political accusations in it whatsoever. It just asked whether uh, the Minister was considering selling or partially selling any state-owned enterprise in the future, if so which ones. It did not deserve an attack on the party, the questioner. Uh, the Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Supplementary, uh, Mr Speaker, to the Minister. Why then did he tell a post-budget luncheon in Christchurch that the Government is considering a change of policy quote, to free up capital and put product on the market for Kiwi mums and dads, unquote. The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, I made those comments in the context of discussing with that audience the need to lift our game with 200 billion of assets that the government owns. I pointed out to them those assets will grow by $35 billion over the next five years, that the government is investing $6 billion per year in taxpayer-funded assets. The Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. To the Minister, we suggested at the luncheon that, quote, there is a strong demand among the mums and dads for a Kiwi investment model, and if we put product into the market, people would buy it, unquote. Did he also point out to the audience that Kiwi mums and dads buying a state-owned asset, such as Kiwi Bank, would be buying something they already own through their payment of taxation? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, the member um, has pointed to actually a comment that someone did make to me after, after, after that discussion. Uh, but as I said then, and I'd say again, we've got on with the much more important job of improving the shocking level of management left behind by that government. It did not care about the state-owned assets and did a very poor job of managing them. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary to the Honourable Minister. What previous policies regarding ownership of state-owned enterprises is the Minister aware of? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, over the years there's been uh, a number of different positions. I'm aware of a position uh, stated by the previous SOE Minister, Trevor Mallard, uh, who advocated floats of SOE businesses so they could be listed on the stock exchange. He told the TV programme in 2006 that could help give a bit of depth to our capital markets and get some transparency around those companies, and I think that would help. Presumably that is still the policy of the Labor Party. Uh, point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Uh, Mr Speaker, the member then did not fully quote me. Uh, it was about the order, order, not order, about order, order, order. I, I regret the member cannot litigate an answer by way of point of, point of order. I, uh, there was nothing wrong with the answer. I just think the last bit was unnecessary to make an allegation as to what is the current policy of the Labour Party. The Minister has no responsibility for the current policy of the Labour Party. Nothing wrong with the answer up until then. The Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Supplementary, uh, Mr Speaker, to the Minister. Who is right? Who is correct? The Prime Minister, who said that, quote, no consideration has been given to sell and selling any state-owned enterprises yet, unquote, himself as Minister, when he said last Friday that the Government is considering a change of policy to put product on the market for Kiwi mums and dads, or the Kiwi Bank Chairman Jim Bolger, who said, quote, they're clearly working away on what their privatisation strategy may or may not be, unquote. The Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister is correct. The Government has not, uh, has not asked for advice or considered any advice on the matters that were raised, because we've been so busy fixing up the mess we inherited. 200 billion of assets owned by the taxpayer, and that government left them in a mess. The uh, Rahu Katani. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary to the Minister. Does he agree with Capital Market Investment Chairman John Cameron that it is time for Iwi to begin thinking about how they are to organise themselves 
what governance systems and investment vehicles they might use to play an active role in investing in New Zealand's infrastructure, and if so, what consultation has he had with Iwi about the potential sale of state-owned enterprises? Mr Speaker, um, we haven't had any consultation with uh, Iwi about uh, ownership of SOEs. Uh, what has happened is that a number of, um, for instance, in the CNI, a number of Iwi have formed joint ventures, have joint, well actually joint ventures I think sponsored by Dr Cullen of the Labor, previous Labor government, uh, joint ventures with SOEs. Uh, we've certainly discussed with Iwi their potential role in public-private partnerships, and I understand that a number of bidders for the, uh, the, next, the first option for a partnership are consulting with Iwi as we speak. The Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. To the Minister, does he stand by his statement last Friday that Kiwi Bank needs an, quote, awful lot of capital, unquote, and if so, why did outgoing CEO Sam Knowles disagree with him when he said yesterday that Kiwi Bank is making enough profit to finance its growth and if any additional capital is needed, it will be minimal? The Honourable Billing. Honourable Billing. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, uh, Kiwi Bank is growing and the government is keen to support that growth. Uh, we've had, had, had discussion with Kiwi Bank over an extended period about what's required for it, and I'd have to say that uh, as sh the, sh the government as shareholder doesn't share all the views uh, that the Kiwi Bank management hold about what's required for growth. Question 